So, second special lecture, second, uh, I am so glad that the lecture, the second, uh, uh, will be announced uh, by Kibun, uh, given by the Professor Yosuke Nakanishi, and the title is uh, Can GIS, GIS Geography Information System, is it like? Yes, yes. Use, yes. Yeah. And technologies, uh, uh, and uh, the harmony is the renewable energies and the disaster crisis. Okay, and uh, so uh, please, uh, uh, 20, 15 minutes uh, delayed. And uh, so, Nakanishi, and uh, so uh, 12, you can speak to 12, 15. Okay, until, and the word is the, so, uh, please uh, give the five minutes uh, for the question and the answer. Okay, yeah. And I hope the uh, you can speak the until uh, twelve ten. Okay, twelve ten. Forty-five minutes. Yeah. Twelve ten. Ah, okay. thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, after you have the speech and the uh, lunch time is uh, free. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. For Nakanishi, the next yes. slide. Yeah. I would like uh, he's a uh, uh, graduate school of the environment and energy, my engineering at the University in Japan. Professor, next slide. Yeah. And uh, Nakanishi, the Shiba is uh, introduced. Uh, please, uh, your reference. Okay. And uh, thank you so much. Okay. Please. Thank you. So please, please give me a uh, operation. Right. Yes. Thank you, Professor Choi, for introduction me. Yes. So the, today's, uh, uh, according to the uh, workshop topics, uh, power system safety and resiliency against the earthquake and disasters. So, actually, the also, the, my research field is uh, power system operation and planning. Especially the recent research is uh, optimal power system planning with renewable energies using geographic information systems. That is, uh, uh, so the, actually the, uh, using the renewable energy, uh, uh, that is uh, new uh, natural energies, uh, when we use uh, natural energies uh, efficiency, uh, and, and, and then, then the opposite side that uh, uh, disasters, uh, uh, disaster prevent, prevent, uh, prevent, preventation is also the another uh, uh, problems. Those are efficiency energy and uh, uh, prevent uh, disaster prevention is a. Uh, it's kind of that uh, compet compet competition problem issues, but uh, I think uh, uh, those those issues based on the uh, geo geographic uh, uh, phenomena. So that uh, today's uh, topics, my ideas, uh, 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 GIS can. Uh, uh, Harmonize that uh, effic efficiency of uh, uh, natural energies and uh, preventing prevent, preventing uh, disasters. So, so that is uh, my uh, first uh, uh, question, question. So, the actually the uh, through the uh, using the my uh, recent uh, re uh, recent research, I'd like to that explain about the GIS uh, technology in general. So, this is uh, my co content of uh, today's uh, lectures. 
Uh, as a geographic information system, uh, first of all, the, I'd like to explain that GIS is, uh, sorry, GIS uh, is as a powerful tool. Uh, so the, I'd like to uh, explain about through the, uh, my example usages. And then the following that, uh, that's generous, uh, I made a study of a transmission line planning uh, for a dedicated wind power. So the, this, uh, this uh, uh, planning, I also use uh, GIS systems. Then the, uh, following the wind power study, we are uh, now going to develop the micro hydro power system concerning the hy hydrology with uh, GIS. That is an uh, ongoing study. Then the, uh, uh, on the development of the, uh, the, those renewable energy or natural energy, we have to concern the pre prevention as well as the effectiveness when using natural energies. So main topics is uh, those are uh, conflict or uh, uh, cooperation of those topics. So first of all, uh, I'd like, uh, I'll, I'll talk about the geographic information system in general terms. So as you know, the in your, life, uh, we use the maps to find the destination. So we use a many, in the many uh, occasion that we use the maps. That map is uh, one of the GIS component. But uh, GIS consists of the, uh, not only the that com uh, destination map, but also the another information maps. So this uh, slide show that uh, those kind of the uh, image of the GIS. So this is a uh, two dimension data uh, on the base map. And in addition that the uh, transmission network data on the map. So this is the second layers. So those several layers is uh, may make uh, uh, GIS systems. And also that uh, uh, when I you when I you we use the GIS, we we use that uh, 3D uh, data data uh, maps. That is a uh, uh, dem map. Uh, that uh, not only the uh, two-dimensional maps, but also the three-dimensional maps, like this uh, height of the sum data. And moreover, that uh, those uh, static data also use that uh, uh, timestamp data. For example, the sensing data is uh, changeable during the uh, uh, during the study, so usually the those DI, G, GIS is, is going to the 4D GIS. That means a 3D data plus time time change using the real time sensing data. So recent GIS is uh, like uh, as as I mentioned just this. So. I showed the extension of the presentation of, uh, to uh, real world maps. Can you? Oh, yes. Sorry. So, this is a primary maps, frame maps, with a counter, counter line, like this one, level, level curves. And Then the uh, primary maps 
include the solid model maps. That, that map needs that uh, uh, digital elevation model, which include that uh, uh, height level of the two, these two dimensional maps. Then, then, then the uh, uh, building that uh, real data, uh, real, uh, real data uh, uh, represent, represented by a gray image, like this one. So we can get that uh, real world maps. So uh, when uh, you see this kind of the real world map, you can understand that the uh, uh, situation of the each areas. This is a high mountains and uh, some uh, uh, trace of the uh, water line and, and so on. So this uh, 3D GIS is very important, powerful systems. Another uh, example, I will show you that this one. So. Uh, so the combining those map layers gives uh, some planning. For example, power, power, uh, power, uh, power system planning and operations. So again, this is a base map. This is only that uh, road shape and uh, public private boundaries like this one. So, built in this uh, map becomes becomes uh, uh, this uh, overlay of varied conduit. That means uh, delivery 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 uh, pipe. This uh, represented in. Uh, uh, blue line, like this one. And then the, when I built in that another uh, house data in each this map. So, overall of this information can provide the planning and operation condition in power system. So you can get that uh, some uh, consumption of energy uh, electric energy, and also uh, how to uh, send uh, electricity from the power line. So this is another uh, example. So we turn to the uh, 4D GIS. So uh, height high data like this one, is added on the grid type data, which is uh, two dimensions. Then the, this point data is becomes uh, three three D data, and also the uh, we we uh, do, uh, deal with those, those uh, them data. We can get uh, them. We can get uh, some surface data like this one. So, for example, uh, this this is a uh, transmission line like this one. So, this uh, transmission line uh, line is uh, located at high level, uh, high position, or high slope, and also you can you can get those uh, stations of that uh, power system lines. And also that uh, uh, those uh, data, including the electricity uh, consumption or uh, power flow, so you can get that uh, uh, time, 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 time dimension, time changing data, like this one. So for the GIS. Uh, uh, when I explain the GIS framing uh, by uh, three spaces, like geographic space and the information space, also con cognitive space. 
those uh, uh, space made uh, is uh, uh, another GIS uh, uh, from the uh, different uh, uh, from the different view view of the, those uh, knowledge. I mean that uh, geographic geog space, as I mentioned, that uh, maps. Uh, such as a to uh, topological map and artificial structure map. This is a base, base spaces. And then the, we, we added that uh, information spaces. For example, the environment factors and the economic factors and so on. So those information space and the geographic space uh, connected uh, measurement data. And both of those uh, space give us uh, some uh, knowledge. So for knowledge, I show this uh, uh, cog cognitive space, like this one. For example, the evaluate and define object function and constraint, recognize the uh, risk, disaster, and the social impact. Maybe those kind of the uh, recognition is come from that uh, uh, changing of the uh, geo geographic uh, maps or topological geographic map and so on and also another uh, economical and the environment factors changing uh, affect that uh, uh, recognition on this space. So those three spaces get together to make a GIS system. So uh, I, I will show you that uh, procedure of power system planning using GIS. So various, various uh, preliminary sur sur surveys need for a planning of uh, renewable energy resources. Uh, not only that uh, uh, renewable energy, uh, sorry, renewable is also the uh, natural uh, energies. So that that is, uh, uh, we have to concern that, uh, uh, pr concern the, uh, some the uh, preventing disasters or something. So. So those those uh, uh, policy planning stand on that uh, uh, disasters, uh, sorry, and natural environment. So then that today uh, I uh, I talk about uh, this uh, GIS. Uh, so on the uh, procedure of the, those uh, GIS uh, planning, first of the step one is uh, data acquisition. For, for example, uh, field investigation needs uh, drone data to explore the land usage. So the drone can get that uh, uh, overview of the uh, surfaces. But uh, when you want to get that uh, uh, underground situation, we, ha we have to use uh, boring to expose the underground layers. So those kind of data give us uh, uh, some information. And also the external information service, such as uh, weather information, historical data, including social information. So we, we, we have to get that data, those uh, data question. And second steps, uh, integrating GIS with multiple layers from primary map. So uh, as I mentioned, the uh, digital elevation model, DEM, using uh, high information. Also this uh, demos in the de DEM model uh, include that uh, uh, another information, uh, rainfall or rainfall or uh, uh, wind wind velocity or something. So we can get the potential areas such as wind power, solar radiation, 
and the geothermal and water bulbs. So, integrated GIS is get uh, give us uh, many information. Then, GIS also included, as I mentioned, uh, this uh, cognitive cognitive space give us uh, the prediction and optimization and preventing. Feasible uh, area extraction based of, uh, on the porthole selection and also spatial prediction and optimization using meta heuristic method uh, give us that uh, uh, third uh, procedures. Then the finally, the, for example, the you, we want to uh, make uh, some uh, transmission line or uh, some uh, uh, preventing uh, uh, activities. So final uh, procedures, uh, uh, we focus on the stable acquisition, minimum construction cost, preventing incident from the disaster and so on. So, GIS covers all kind of the procedures. So, I think uh, GIS is a uh, uh, good uh, me get, uh, tools or uh, uh, means for that uh, concerning the uh, natural environment. And also that this is show uh, this show that the 4D GIS key technologies. Uh, one of the technology is a high resolution satellite image analysis. So from the satellite, uh, we get that uh, uh, image data, such, such, uh, such as a uh, like these uh, satellite images. Then the, uh, we have to the analyze those uh, image to the uh, high, uh, high, uh, high extraction data from the NADA images here. So this is a static, but also the, when I uh, look at that uh, uh, nature, uh, uh, topological situation that uh, uh, flood or something. Also, we can get that uh, uh, data from uh, satellite images. And the other uh, keynote, keynote te key, key to te technology is uh, high precision GPS positioning. So, this uh, uh, high po positioning uh, positioning is uh, get get need that uh, reference station. So it, it I mean that uh, on, only the GPS data is give us uh, very uh, rough data. So we need that uh, data from the reference stations. So those uh, GPS data and reference station data to minimize the position's error, like this one. So tho those kind of high precision GPS position give us that uh, uh, changing of uh, uh, phenomena, such as a disaster or something. So then the uh, third uh, key technology is a 4D GIS platform. That is, uh, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, uh, before the uh, presentation. So the 4D GIS integrations analysis, like this one. Then those three uh, key technologies gather that uh, uh, some information. For example, that uh, enlarging damage areas from those kind of high, high resolution image analysis and also positional changing of the disasters from the high precision GPS position. So we can understand the all of situation with the time, time stamps. 
that is a four DGIS technologies. And again, the uh, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, is integrated for uh, DGIS. First of the automatic map making from uh, hyper spectral images uh, from that uh, satellite image is here. So satellite image is analyzed by a uh, uh, spectrum uh, uh, spe spectrum analysis. So this uh, uh, with the coloring like this one. Then the, uh, we get uh, 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 categorizing the digital surface spectrum, like this one. So, for example, this uh, uh, violet color is uh, some the uh, human activity, or this uh, this uh, uh, water, uh, this uh, blue line is uh, some another. Uh, electricity activity or something. So then the, we can get, we can categorize the digital surface spectrum. Then the, uh, we generated the maps, uh, GIS maps. So, so the, uh, until now the, we talk about that, uh, GIS uh, uh, general uh, technologies. Then the, I'll talk to the example of the uh, my ex uh, my study for the transmission planning of wind power using GIS. So geographic. Oh, no, time uh, geographic data cooperate with the other cons cons constraint first of all so that so this is that uh, uh, topological data and with uh, some uh, information for example this uh, red red colored is a uh, profited areas forbidden areas so that uh, when I want to build that the transmission line, we have to, we, we can go through these areas. So we have to con the tower of this line. So those kind of the uh, constraint of the network design, that, that needs the environment and the economical uh, constraint. I show you that uh, some example of the uh, uh, constraint data. So environment data. So the factor is a uh, uh, preservation of nature's. For example, the transmission routes are designed not to go through the conservation areas or prohibited areas, like uh, national parks, like this one. And also the uh, economic uh, constraint, line cost and the sub substation cost. Those cost is uh, uh, depend on the uh, position of the, this mountain or, or slope or something. Then we can get that uh, uh, cost function from those planning of uh, transmission line. This is uh, one of the example uh, cost function. That is a uh, transmission line cost. And this this is a uh, 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 new, uh, new trans transformer cost and uh, additional uh, uh, substation cost and uh, uh, to topology constraint cost or something. So, those to uh, summation of those uh, function need to the uh, minimize. So, this is uh, uh, these uh, plannings uh, 
according to that uh, GIS data. So I show the actual the study uh, study uh, study examples. This is uh, uh, this study is uh, issued in the five five years ago. That is uh, uh, so. Then the uh, this report is from the Ministry of Environment. So this study is focus is uh, uh, showing this one. Uh, first of all, the supporting the penetration is uh, 70 gigawatt in 2015s. That is a uh, uh, Japanese government uh, policy. So, supporting those uh, uh, penetration, the we the method of transmission design are uh, proposed in this study. And then the, we get the approximate cost connect, connect concerning the allocation and the new transmission line for dedicated wind power. So when I uh, study this uh, project, first of all, we have to the two, we have to solve the two issues at the same time. One issue is how to select wind farms to obtain the target capacities, like this one. And second issue is how to connect a new power line with existing power transmission network by, minim by minimizing the construction cost. This uh, connection line should be uh, uh, minimized. So, so those, I mean that the uh, selection wind farm is like this one, and uh, some areas wind farms is uh, not used. Then the total of those uh, wind farms is uh, uh, target capacities. So, and also that uh, this red line is uh, at, uh, existing transmission line and also this is existing uh, substation. So we, we connected the, those wind farms transmission line dedicated one. So when I uh, solved the two, uh, two, 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 when I solved two issues, we have to the, uh, study that uh, uh, try and errors like this showing this uh, uh, arrow so first of the uh, when i want to the select the wind farms first of the we have to divide the areas of, for wind wind farm, wind farms for the and also the several existing substation is uh, 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 they decided. Then the uh, wind farm selection planning will be solved. And uh, this transmission planning connection problem is first of the wind farm uh, represented the point, point selection. That means uh, uh, wind farm has a uh, substation. So substation location is different when the uh, station uh, location of the wind farm is different, so that the uh, transmission with, uh, uh, will be a, a long line or not. So this is uh, one of the uh, problems. Then the, we, we have to connect uh, the wind farm and the existing substation. Then those, those kind of uh, uh, solution we use uh, Network optimization. So this is a technical aspect of a, a global optimization, showing this one. So this is a, a divided the areas of the uh, wind farm areas, which means that uh, 
this is a uh, uh, divide areas to wind farms. So this uh, uh, green line is a uh, existing substation, and uh, this uh, uh, black black point is uh, wind farms. So which wind farm should be connected the uh, uh, existing substation? Very uh, easy way that. We use that uh, uh, Boronoi, uh, Boronoi uh, divi divisions like this one. That that means that uh, this existing transmission line divided like this straight line, and uh, this uh, those transmission line divided those line. So then we get that uh, uh, di uh, divided areas like this one. That is a, a very simple uh, division of the areas. But, uh, uh, but uh, each actually that uh, uh, this is a uh, area is a very plain areas. But uh, if you, uh, we, if, if there are big river, river or big uh, uh, sea, so we have to, uh, extend that uh, those kind of technologies okay and uh, and another uh, uh, techn uh, problem is that uh, how to connect it for well, when uh, we connect it like this one to this uh, uh, access point existing substation so many kind of the uh, wind, wind farms connected those lines. So those uh, lines will be uh, overload. Then we have to change the uh, com combination like this one. So we have to that uh, uh, some uh, ideas for the recombination from the solution get that uh, uh, some uh, network algorithm optimization algorithm. Then the connection and the div division information, we can get that uh, uh, decided uh, uh, selected areas, like this one. So, so, so selected uh, wind farm is represented by uh, red colors, this one. And this, another, uh, uh, combination is like this one. This is that the uh, second wind farm is not uh, selected, and, and, and so on. So the, we, we use the genetic algorithms to combination, many com uh, to maximize from the main combination, so-called the uh, uh, cr chromosome farm. And also the, for the GIS uh, uh, phase, so, so this is a, a tower position like this one. So the, when we get that uh, detail of the GIS data, we can get the slope of this one and also the high, height condition of towers. So we, we can decide that uh, uh, those kind of the, uh, the position of Tower using the GIS data. So another uh, ex information that uh, uh, tower or transmission line needs that uh, sky op open angles. So if the sky open angles is uh, narrow, so it is difficult to construct that uh, tower or transmission line. So also this kind of the uh, data comes from the GIS data. So uh, this is uh, uh, one of the uh, autom automatic site, uh, selection of wind power facilities. So wind power is like this one. So we selected this one, and uh, this line is uh, uh, selected the transmission lines. For example, that this uh, transmission line cannot that feasible uh, feasible area route. So decided one. So, 
I'm going to move to the uh, micro hydro power system concerning the hydrologies. So, uh, GIS also uh, gave us uh, some information. That, that slide, shows, slide is show, uh, showing that uh, flood simulations. So, simulation display in the chronological orders. First of, first of, all, or first of all, dam wash, uh, wash out. Then the means after, after the dam wash out right here, then the damage areas right here. So we can get the chron chronological orders of the uh, damages or so, uh, disasters. And also the visualization of high order analysis using GIS, three dimension display like this one, and also get, uh, from that uh, many social information, we can get that uh, uh, some damage of uh, these areas. So, for example, that uh, red color is a flooded house overflow, and uh, this uh, uh, yellow color is a flooded house or the uh, underflow. And also, the this uh, uh, water rabbit show 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 us so those kind of data ex extracted the uh, gis data when so this uh, data is only that the uh, surface of the uh, uh, surface of the earth but uh, when i want to that the uh, actual uh, uh, phenomena we, we have to use uh, the hydrologies. Hydrology is uh, de defined by uh, UNESCO, uh, 1964. So UNESCO is uh, aimed to the uh, hydrology, uh, uh, aimed to that, uh, those kind of activities. So uh, for example, the man and the biohospital bio, bio program on, and also the work Water is uh, very important. It is for that uh, uh, healthy and also for us, uh, water is uh, give us, water give us uh, energies. So those activities can be uh, given by a uh, hydrologist. So hydrological analysis like this one. So this, so this is a mountain areas, and when I rain, so rainfall here, and uh, conservation, like a lake or something, and unconfined groundwater is under the, like this one, and the water deep out and leak to that uh, surface of the uh, ground. So, and also make a, a lake. So those kind of uh, uh, modeling is dissolved, dissolved by uh, hydrological networks. So when I uh, studied that uh, micro hydro system, so the rain, rain like this, uh, this line, uh, the uh, the uh, river like this line, and also the uh, thick thick line is uh, heavy waters, and uh, uh, thin line is uh, light water like this one. But uh, this uh, station is rechangeable on the, according to the season, so the we have to analyze the uh, uh, getting the water during that uh, one, uh, one year. So for this analysis, we can get that uh, uh, information from the hydrological analysis. Then the, we can decide the hydropower plant like this one. So the uh, 
and also that uh, we we concerned about the connection of the uh, power network uh, concerning the uh, uh, water levels, which is support, uh, which is uh, uh, give us uh, give us from the hydrological uh, models. So conventional uh, uh, hydropower, large power, so the cooperation among those several dams will be uh, uh, we were informed. Then the uh, operating the this kind of the big hydropower plant, we uh, operated at the dam gate for each each one to uh, get that uh, information of those uh, station of uh, water levels, like this one. So same, uh, this uh, uh, cooperation information, we also use, uh, use uh, uh, we also use some, this kind of the cooperation information to the cluster uh, small hydro power. This is show that the uh, uh, integration of hydrological and electric networks, this, like this one. So that uh, so using that kind of the GIS and the hydrological data, uh, we analyze. We are going to be we are going to analyze uh, three uh, four steps: the extension of the representation using the small hydropower cases, during, uh, using the data uh, uh, GIS uh, from from the each layers, like this one. Then those several uh, layers can get that uh, purchase. And uh, another uh, data should be uh, measured by ourselves, like this one. And uh, we integrate, integrate uh, we, we uh, get that, we form that uh, uh, 4D GIS, uh, like this one, so we get the data from the high resolution satellite, and we get another information from uh, boring data like this one. And also, sometimes uh, we get uh, uh, land, land, uh, land cover detail uh, situation from the drone. So then uh, we get that kind of the uh, spatial temporal data integrated like this one. Then the uh, third step, uh, uh, candidate of per generation site uh, selected using those kind of the uh, water simulations. So, so uh, from those uh, uh, by my uh, recent research, uh, the GIS can cover that uh, uh, using the eff effective energies and also that uh, uh, preventing uh, disasters. So this is a uh, uh, conclusion of the, my uh, presentation. So utilization of uh, natural energy is required for exhaust exhaustion of fossil fuels and degradation, degrade, deg degradation of energy self-sufficient rate. So, so due to the climate of change, uh, natural disaster, disaster have become a major emergency issues. Then the, uh, it is necessary to integrate the research and the management of the natural environment. So not only that uh, efficiency of uh, uh, usage energies and also the uh, maintain the natural environment. 
Today is, uh, I show that uh, current status of GIS, and also the, I show you that uh, example of the uh, usage of GIS and also hydro, hydrology. So, I think that those kind of the uh, technologies is uh, good for that uh, uh, planning, and also that uh, uh, on-site operation, also GIS and that kind of hydrology is contributed. So, and uh, uh, now uh, we, we, we talk from the Tokyo areas. Uh, also, the Tokyo is also the uh, 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 so is the cannot uh, uh, go go out freely. Yeah. So, uh, natural gas also that uh, uh, that kind of the disaster, and also that uh, uh, epidemic is also the very uh, severe the situations. Mm. So, so those kind of the uh, situation, uh, we have to that uh, rebuild that the urban and country country ground design and operations. So, I think today's uh, uh, speech, speech, yes, and hydrology will be uh, contribute to those kind of the uh, problems. So. Thank you. Today's uh, topic set. Uh, yes, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for Professor Yas Yasuke Nakanishi, the great uh, speech and uh, for great uh, sliders. I am feeling it's very nice. And uh, in actually, the Korea is also similar. It's the, so I understand your the topic. And uh, so, okay, and uh, five minutes uh, is the Q&A and uh, some kitchen. Okay. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, okay, thank you so much. Today, today's slide is just one week, four days. I don't know. I am feeling it's the, the paradigm changed it's the from the, uh, changed from the offline, uh, to the online near time for yeah. the GIS is the in order to actually the uh, 10 years ago I have tried the, the KPX project the, for the how is the uh, uh, renewable energy generators resources the prediction it's very mm -hmm. difficult yeah and Co so GIS yes yes Co yeah. Korea is, uh, advanced yeah. so the yeah. Japanese in the speed uh, yes <laughs> yes solar radiation and uh, some uh, and just now is also I'm still the some I have the some very very kitchen is the some the accuracy it's a higher accuracy how is the some it's a problem okay mm -hmm. it's a very good idea GIS is a online real time GIS okay the some kitchen attendance is some questions for Akjuno 교수님 오셨네요 우리 예 감사합니다 예 우리 저 질문 Okay, anyway, is the everybody is the support attendance by Zoom attendance. So, Professor Hong, can I catch it? Can you catch it? Can you catch it? I'm oh, sorry. Can I ask for your catch? Okay. Okay. Well, can I, I have a some catch it? Okay. Uh, some. Uh, how, how is the some data acquisition of, uh, for the, the establishing the GIS system in yeah. Japan is the some I'm studying I, I am I am I understand that you are the studying in now but is so some I, I have this very important uh, GIS system incorporate the, I, I am sure is the some harmonizing the in your energy generators in order to uh, upgrade the accuracy of solar radiation in the speed some and uh, it's a very good idea. But it's the, already the, some, the conventional the GIS, but it's the 4D GIS. It's a, yeah, I, I think it's online real-time GIS. Is it right? And so how is this in Japan? Uh, how is the data acquisition for the GIS system for future in okay. Japan? Yeah. Actually, uh, 
the GIS data is uh, some areas uh, uh, for the some countries uh, yes. uh, secret data sometimes. Yes. So, so it is difficult to get that uh, uh, bus style uh, GIS data. So the GIS data is uh, individual countries uh, has uh, has uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, developed in the indi individual data, individual countries. Yes. So in Japan, but, uh, how we see. Uh, yeah. So that, right? uh, oh, that's uh, we can get uh, satellites. Also, the in, in oh. Japan we, we we located several uh, uh, satellites and also that uh, uh, some uh, different uh, uh, station on the di di different uh, uh, the minimize that the errors. So, yes. but uh, those data uh, in Japan we can get. Mm. Ma, it, it's a little bit, uh, uh, it is easy to get some information. Okay. But uh, uh, when I, for actually, the, this uh, study uh, uh, is going to be in another countries. So, yes. another countries, so yes. it is difficult to that. Uh, yes, uh, sure, sure, sure. So, but yes. uh, those kind of difficulty is uh, depend on that the countries. Yes. So the, uh, it is difficult to uh, the gen uh, speak to generate gener generalize. So, but uh, anyway, the uh, framework is very important. Yes. So now, uh, uh, now I will discuss with another country to make a framework. Then the contents is sometimes uh, uh, secret, mm -hmm. but. Uh, Sure. See, data is also the uh, needs of only for that uh, uh, enter, en, enter, yeah. enterprise. Data is actually only uh, need for the uh, all human beings. So maybe that, uh, for example, to today's uh, epidemic uh, problem, so we can get the uh, information uh, uh, get uh, each other's mm -hmm. futures. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. It is okay. a very important problem. Yes, sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, I think I am feeling now is the some uh, is recently uh, under the condition of COVID-19, data is the most important. I think is the some cooperation. How is the world uh, cooperation? Is the some key point? Uh, yeah. I, I hope the some Japan and the Korea. I yeah, the Nakanishi. Thank you so much. Your great time and so okay. Another question. Okay. Yes. Huh? Okay. Karki. Yes. Uh, Karki. Okay. Yes. Karki. Yes. Karki. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, the, the excellent presentation. I, mm. I can understand. Uh, the, the value of uh, considering uh, natural disasters during the stage. Uh, uh, but my, my, my question or, or comment or concern is, these natural disasters have a very uh, low probability of occurrence, although the impact is very large. And, mm -hmm. and there are different uh, types of disasters uh, that could occur. For example, you could have an earthquake, you could have uh, extreme <laughs> weather events, and they're all uh, very low probability. Uh, but then when you uh, try to incorporate them in, in planning, uh, do you try to consider all, all of these different natural disasters that could occur uh, into, into, because one disaster might have one type of planning, Whereas another disaster might require another type of planning. So how to integrate all of this, knowing the fact that these are very low probability events? Professor mm Karake, -hmm. please let me introduce this. In Japan, okay. high, high, high frequency, high impact. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in Canada, Canada is a low probability uh, accident. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, and can I? It's very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> <Probably>. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, that uh, yeah. strategic planning is uh, very important. Strategic mm. means for the only for the energy, not uh, not only for energy, but also the disasters. Those kind. Those two competitive problems, also we have to concern that. If uh, that uh, uh, disaster happened, so that the high, high uh, damage will be suffered, such uh, in the case of that, uh, of course, uh, last year that uh, Tokyo area, company, uh, Tokyo area is mm -hmm. very damages by a, a typhoon. So we have to concern the two sides. One is the high efficiency of usage energies. The other is that uh, disasters. So for those, those, disas those uh, GIS, so then the GIS is, uh, I, I think it is necessary to establish uh, uh, GIS consists of that uh, disaster the probability or something and the energy information or something. So we need that, uh, uh, we, we, we have to prepare that uh, disaster and also the uh, efficient, efficient uh, countries. We, we, we need, we have to establish that uh, GIS data. That is uh, one, <laughs> one of my uh, opinions. Uh, I think it's okay. Yeah, like Alicia, thank you so much for Karke. So some different, uh, different. Uh, Canada is a low frequency accident, uh, mm. yes. and uh, so in Japan is the uh, yes. high frequency. Yeah, in disasters, the impact and the high uh, impact, and uh, so some the, the I, I think is the the karaoke is a catch eh? is the about the some resiliency okay yeah. mm -hmm. and the, mm -hmm. yeah some some different yeah but is the I think is the some GIS based on the information system and then the, some prevention system is very important uh, is uh, some good idea yeah okay yes. yeah thank thank you. please one second uh, home and uh, karaoke we have prepared some gift. Uh, some workshop, workshop, large size, uh, the tower. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, and uh, please uh, let me. Uh, please, uh, okay. Okay. I, I, I would like the some delivery for for all attendance uh, by June and uh, some Japan, Canada, Taiwan by uh, post mail. Okay. As okay. soon as the workshop is uh, today closed uh, and uh, so. Please, the some how or I hope the all attendance okay yeah. That is and those towers have been tested for uh, COVID. Uh, it's the highest highest tower for swimming okay. Some swimming I hope you enjoy okay. But the round of the mouth to Nika. Thank you. May I speak? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for Nakanishi. Uh, Sorry, sorry. Uh, I'd like to introduce uh, my uh, researchers in my yeah. Nakanishi Labo. So he is an yes, expert for the GIS. Uh -huh. Actually, he developed that uh, navigation system in Japanese. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Ah. Uh, my name is uh, Kazuaki uh -huh. Ramura in Awasu uh -huh. University. Yeah. So yeah. I'm a researcher in Awasu University. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. Ah, you are more, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the, I'm developing the four di dimensional GIS. Uh -huh. So the, uh, the according to the, the professor choice the yes. opinions, so the, yes. the, the, we have to consider the data acquisitions. The, it is a bit, uh, it is a little bit uh, difficult yes. problems. But uh, yes. the anyway, so the, the recently the, the, uh, a lot of data can be available. Mm -hmm for the, the map data and the satellite data. So the, the we have to uh, the, uh, we have to find the, the, these data easily. But and uh, 
And uh, in some countries, so the, the data is close to the foreign peoples. So in this case, the, we have to collaborate with the, the foreign researchers. So the, and then, so the, the we can uh, use the, the data. So the, and the, the, for the real-time data, yes. so the, uh, the, the, for the real-time data, that we have to uh, the construct the well platform to acquire, acquire the real-time data. So now, uh, that this infrastructure is developing uh, using the 5G and so mm. on. So the, I'm expecting that uh, this real-time data uh, sure, will be sure. available in the future. Mm. Yes. But, yes. Uh, but the, the sometimes the GIS is, uh, is handles the, oper uh, the manages the huge, uh, large areas. So uh, the data acquisition areas uh, may be small. So that we have to uh, the calculate uh, the calculate the whole areas data using the small local areas data. So the, it is a, a techno a technical, a technological techniques that we have to develop the uh, well uh, method, I think. Okay, thank you so much, thank you, sir. So Dr. Yamura. Okay, I missed you. Thank you. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, this session, please let me close it.